I'm here with one of the judges. So, um, how are you today? Hello, my name is Gary Duvall. I'm here to um, be a judge today. Hopefully, the food is spectacular. I heard they had pastries, different foods, and everything. So, I'm ready for it. Thank you. Okay, here with another one of the judges. How are you doing today? Okay. Oh, any expectations? What to what to expect? Um, anything you'd like to say to the contestants or anything else? Um, just hoping for a good contest. Okay, wonderful. Okay, and we're speaking here with one of the judges. So, how are you doing today? I'm doing all right. Thanks wonderful, wonderful. You're excited about um, what you're about to to encounter with our first family bake off. Anything you'd like to to say as far as um, the expectations or anything? Um, I'm I'm open to anything. I'm kind of excited. I'm curious to see what's out there. I don't, I don't know what's going to be out there. I know pastries for sure. Mm -hmm. And maybe something strawberry related, but that's all I know. Okay. Yeah. Well, wonderful. Well, thank you so much. And we look forward to seeing you shortly. All right. right. I'm here with one of the judges for today's yeah. competition. So, hi, how are you? Fine, thank you. Fine, thank you. Wonderful. So anything that, you, what are your expectations? Anything that you're looking forward to today? Anything that you need to, you'd like to add or anything you want to say to the contestants or anything? I'm hungry, number one. <laughs> Ready to taste. Yeah. Well, I wish everyone, everybody good luck. They're all family, so <laughs> I have no preference. I hope everything is well and everybody does well in everything. So, I, okay. so I'm okay. happy. Again, my name is Marcel Hodge. So, Wonderful. Yeah. Okay. Right, I'm, I'm here home. with one of the judges. How are you today? I'm good. Wonderful. What are your expectations for today or anything you'd like to say to contestants or anything? Uh, I would like to taste some nice desserts nice things don't want to give no food poison <laughs> That's it. okay thank you so much hi we're talking to one of the contestants here so can you tell me a little quick thing about how was your journey how do you feel about it how you think your chances are um well I tried some new things. I've never baked pastry before. I learned that I can bake pastry now. My presentation is trash, so don't judge me on that. But um, I feel really good. I feel kind of good. I feel like I baked something way ahead of time that I shouldn't have. But um, based on see how Uncle Garfield do, I don't want him to compete. He shouldn't compete. He's a cheat. He do too much. But um, I, th I thought I was doing good until I came. Um, I want. I'm interested to see how they taste because I bake it. I didn't taste anything. So. That's going to be interesting. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me. Hi. Another contestant. How are you? I'm great. Can you tell me a little bit how you feel? How was your preparation? Any, anything? How, how, how was everything? How do you think that you stand today? The preparation was long <laughs> and hard. And I thought we only had to bake one dessert. And I found out like three days before that I had to bake all three. So that was a scramble. <laughs> But that's, that's on me. You Take full credit. Um, I'm confident, but not arrogant. I wish I would have known we could put things on individual plates. I'm just saying. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I decided to go home style <laughs> with mine instead. Um, and home style with a, with a, a twist on each one. Oh, Alright, another contestant, so tell me how, how you feel, um, your uh, I'm a little skeptical, I'm a little skeptical after seeing Mr. Duvall's desserts and some of my other contestants, but you know, with, with doubt comes success, so as long as I kind of believe in myself, it'll be manifested. My name is Ariana Duvall, and I am the best. I had a lot of struggles with myself, for real. <laughs> That's because it's not going to be right. I'm going to tell you that right now. But I had a lot of fun. It was super exciting. I'm very happy for this. And me and Marsha had the idea since last year, so we did it. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now we have here another contestant. Yes, so tell us how you, how you feel. How was your preparation? And how, how you think you stand today? Well, um... <laughs> I don't even know where to begin, but I tried something that I didn't try before. So I'm ready for it. I'm well. oh, yeah, the I didn't get a chance to taste anything. So I'm just hoping that, um, that, it, that it comes out pretty good. And maybe I get it with a price or something because you need to keep baking. You know, so. Thank you, Brandon. You need me I'm hungry now. Okay. <laughs> All right. And we have another contestant. Um, 
Um, so how you how you feel? How was your preparation, and how you think that you stand today? Um, I had some bloopers, um, definitely some setbacks, but at the end of the day, I conquered. So that's that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's all. That's all. Is there anything else you want to say? Um, I'm just saying, vote right, vote correctly, and um, yeah. See you next time. All right. <laughs> okay. We have another contestant here. And how do you think you? How was your preparation? Um, how do you think you, you know? Stand? Oh, this one's a I'm definitely not a baker, right? So I went in this stressed and nervous, but I must say, I think I kind of did well. I think I did good. I'm not going to hide myself up too much because honestly, I'm not sure. Oh, well, I'm but sorry. I think I did good though. What was your preparation? How do you feel? And how do you think you stand today? I'm very confident, but the competition looks very strong. But uh, I, I feel that I can pull it off. All right, anything else to add? God bless everyone. Great to be here. Okay. <laughs>
Where's, where's, um... Where I have Do you need the judges? I know, no, I, I already know what they're doing. Just come down, I already have them. I'm gonna get, um... All right, I would like to welcome everyone to our first annual Family Bake Off. So we're getting ready to get started and I'm going to go ahead and introduce to you our judges and we'll move forward from there. Hope you enjoy and you have quite a lot to look forward to. Okay, can the judge, can, can the first judge come forward please? Okay, come on out. <laughs> All right. So if you can please just say who you are. You say who you are and then you can go have a seat um, at the end of the judges' table. All right, I'm Junior. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, oh. I'm a professional here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Junior. Next, next judge, please come forward. Okay, come right here. Okay, if you can just say your name and a little introduction about yourself, and then you'll go have a seat next to the next judge, the other judge. Everybody, I'm the fair. I like sweets. I don't like them too sweet. I like it natural. I put no sugar in my tea and coffee. Oh, yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, can I have the next judge, please? Come right here. Say. Say your name and, and a little introduction about yourself and then you can go have a seat next to the other judges. This is not a judge. Okay. My name is Bruce. And then it's Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> That's it? Alright. Okay, thank you. Can I have the next judge, please? Come right here. Say your name, introduce yourself, a little introduction, and then go sit next to them. Hello, everybody. My name is Andrew Wall. Um, I am looking oh. forward to trying out all of your beautiful um, <laughs> You're not British! <laughs> Hello, everybody. Okay. Thank you. Okay. 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 All right, can we have our final judge, please? Hi, okay, come right here. Tell us who you are, um, then give us a little introduction, and then you can have a seat next to the other judges. I'm the guy who's going to eat all this stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> and who are you? Who are you? Oh, Marcel Hobbs is my name. Marty Trinidad, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everybody. Okay, all right. So, so have all a right. <laughs> all right. Wow, okay, so the contestants, can you all please stand? All contestants, please stand. All contestants, please stand. Okay. All right. And I'm just going to, as, as I point at you, just say who you are. And, and if you want to say anything about yourself, that's fine. And then you can sit down after you said what you said. So we'll start here with you at the end. Garfield Duval. Glad to be here. God bless everybody. Okay. Jessica Green. Vote for me. Okay. Me? Ariane Duval, I'm back since I was in the sixth grade or maybe fourth grade. And then from there, I have ascended to another level oh. of being. <laughs> so I can compete as the youngest, the youngest person in this competition. So thank you and vote for me. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm Bridget Hodge. Happy to be here. I hope something wins today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sit down after you're finished. Okay. Okay. Hi, everyone. Oh, my, my name is Brittany. <laughs> wow. So, I'm the second youngest person competing. Yes. Wow. <laughs> so, um, I am a professional cook. I'm not a professional baker, but did I come to play? And the answer is yes. <laughs> Marsha, uh, formerly known as Marsha Leek. Um, I am a mother of three, so I wanted to be taken to account with me doing this by myself, um, just to say I'm a professional. Okay. All right. Okay. Vote for me. One, two, three. <laughs> okay. All right. And the final contestant? Hi, I'm Trevon. Um, yeah, I don't bake at all. Um, <laughs> so it's going to be interesting. I hope these things taste better than they look. <laughs> Um, but I know that, you know, if it bake with love and, you know, passion and stuff, it should, it should have to, <laughs> I think, if it burns, if it burns, don't, 
I mean that. No, no. <laughs> Especially like the ones that you can pick. Pick the one that don't look bad. If you pick a bad one, if you pick a bad one, that's your fault. They all ain't bad. They all ain't bad. So yes, that's a block. And if anybody beat me, did you? <laughs> and again, I am your host. Arvia and Nelson Duval. So we're looking forward to a great time. So I'll be capturing moments along the way so that you can have a great glimpse of what you have missed not being here today. Thank you so much. Okay, judges, as you can see in front of you, there is a, um, a clipboard and your scoring card is at the uh, bottom of that. You can use your cell phone for your calculator. Um, or if you need a calculator, I actually have some for you. So in front of you, you see there's some napkins. There are more napkins. I'm going to put some more there. But there's some napkins and some plates. So what you do first is appearance and display plating is one of the categories. So everything is listed in the front of the tables. And I'm just going to show uh, for the online audience. In the front of the table has the category. So each table has a category listed that's in the, in the colorful paperwork. Category one is a cake where everyone had to make an orange cream cheese pound cake. Of course, everybody's added their creativity to it. So each, each, each um, dish has an identifier with the contestant um, secret number and the category and a description of what their item is. So it will help you with what you're doing, okay? Second category is pastry and the main ingredients must have been cranberry and coconut. Okay, and these pastries can be savory or they can be sweet. So that's category two table right here. And the last category is a dish of choice. Um, the, only, the, only, the only criteria for this is that it had to have been baked. And so it could be food, it could be dessert, it could be anything as long as it was baked. Okay, so as you can see, um, so I would like y'all to get up, get your scorecards, get your pen, go around and take a look at everything because you're judging right now for the appearance which is the category that's listed as display and plating. That's what you're gonna judge on first. And the numbers, each dish has a card. The card describes what it is and what the number is on your sheet. So it matches up. So whatever number you see, you match it up. Like for instance, um, if this is three, three, then you're gonna have, okay, yeah, okay? Is there any, are there any questions? Everybody understand? Okay, so once you're finished, so judges, once you're finished with the appearance category, once every judge is finished with the appearance category, then you can start sampling. Everything should have utensils. If you need something else, let me know. Also, these containers right here, um, can y'all take a look one second, please? When you start sampling, these are palate cleansers. So you'll take a spoon, put a little bit in your hand, put it in your mouth, swirl it around if you're you know, to cleanse your palate before you move on to the next thing if you're having a problem tasting different things, okay? So each table has a, a palate cleanser on there, so feel free to utilize, okay? All right, any questions? Okay, well, good luck. Dude. This is seven, this is seven. What is that? This is Lashra, a shrimp lasagna. A shrimp box of lasagna. This is what? That's three one. Okay, so this cake. Uh, I'm just saying. Four point two, right? Yeah. I said you probably would have been top two. I said you might have been top two. Yeah. I was gonna go in. I'm bad. I need two days. Hey, Monday you have to me like this. That's why you want to What is this? What is this? This is a You good? Yeah. Okay, so one that's one is, sorry. You say thank you? 
Yeah, it's five more. Ideally. Okay. Oh, it's on. Oh. Make sure you know what this is. Three, a three-layer cream cheese, orange marmalade, orange cream cheese pound cake. So orange marmalade. Okay, so this one's not. Are these fresh oranges? There's can they're candy. It's like a orange It's like a glaze over them. Oh Gito? Somebody made from scratch? The glaze? The orange. The orange? They came from fresh? Made from scratch candy? Oh, yeah. It's like a little bit. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, this was good too. This one, one one was good. Six one. Those there, I think they were right in the same nick up, up there. Okay, okay. Up right, those there. Okay, okay. All right. All Presentation right. Presentation was beautiful here. Yeah, too much of a taste. Okay. This one was just had a very good taste too. This one is this one. This one is one two. One two. I can't okay. read it. This one. Okay. And this here has a very good presentation and the artwork and stuff, but the mango too bitter. Okay. <laughs> the macaroni here was good. Okay. This one was good too. Whatever this one is. And um, this here was good also. When you cut it with a little salt, that was a very Nice touch of when you do the squeeze it oh. like that. Oh, that's a squeeze like thing. Oh, wow, yeah. I didn't even realize that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Now, See this you. here, so this one here, so the apple dumpling, I like that. It wasn't too sweet mm -hmm. and it wasn't too, it was right in between. So, that just about right for the person who don't like the sweet things too much. Okay. That's all okay. That's all I gotta say right now. Okay. All and right. And I really like the presentation of everything. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. And so by the way, that's Marceline Hodge, part of the People's Choice Award um, yes. reviewers. Okay. We have Livingston Bas Bascom. Mm -hmm. Can I have some words from you? Yes. Actually, the presentation, everything was actually off the chain. I really like like the presentation. Okay. One of my favorite was, was this one, um, 7 2. Okay. My bright coconut cheesecake. That okay. was very good. Okay. I do like the macaroni, the macaroni one with the, um, I think this had shrimp and stuff in it. Uh huh. That That's was good. Thing. That was, uh, the lasagna. Little, that okay. was surprisingly okay. very good. Okay. This one was good. Uh, it was kind of mellow, but the, the mangoes was, was threw me off a little. Oh, okay. You know? Okay. This one was good, maybe uh -huh. because I like alcohol in this. And alcohol. this that's alcohol in it. Oh, yes. And I think the presentation of this, with even having this bottle in right. the alcohol, the squeezy, yes. was very good. Because okay. Another surprise to take. Okay. But okay. So far, if I, if it was my choice, we gave everybody a four. <laughs> because it was good. Okay. But since we had to do in different yes. choices, yes. But I do like everything. Wonderful. Like Thank you. We have Josh Anderson, and he is another. People's Choice Award reviewer, and um, what is your feedback? Uh, my feedback, all the food was amazing. I only came in on the second half, mm -hmm. so I had two favorites, this cheesecake. Uh, I love the sauce, the sauce really took it over the top. Okay. And the mac and cheese, it was cheesy, it wasn't dry, and it was like, it was flavorful. Okay. But, this one I hear as well. Uh, I love the layer, the presentation of it. Once mm -hmm. you cut into it and you see the difference and everything. So okay. those are my favorite right here. Wonderful. Thank you. Let me see in the center of it. Oh. It's ice golden green. Oh my yeah. goodness. Yeah. I did not realize that. Yeah. Ice golden green. Oh, that's gorgeous. It is. It tastes, it tastes as good as it looks too. That's wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. Thank you so much. Sorry, I'm sure okay. So we have here. Um, Shar Jones and the another People's Choice Award reviewer. Okay, so my favorite thing on this table was I think I wish I had my board in front of me. Everything was amazing over here. All the cake was really moist. Nothing was too sweet. Nothing was overcooked. Okay. But my favorite on this table was six one. Six one. Oh, right actually, here. six one and seven one. I had the same. Before. So six one is here. 
And seven one this one. is that one. Uh -huh. Those are my two favorites. Okay. So okay. then on this table, everything was equally awesome. Okay. But this was hands down my favorite on this table. Okay, the, the, the cranberry cheesecake thing. It was. Okay. But this was pretty amazing as well. Okay, and that's what five two? Yes. I, okay. I don't even like pie and that was really good. Okay, okay. Um let's see. And on this table, I really like the things with chicken in them. Even though I don't eat chicken, I didn't realize it until I bit in it and it okay. was good enough for me to finish it. Oh, but well, that's a good I sign. Finished it. it is. Good. Good. So those okay. were good, and then of course the mac and cheese was amazing, and the lasagna was one of my favorites. The mac and cheese is lasagna. Funny. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Kimberly Bonds, another oh, People's okay. Choice Award really, reviewer. Okay. Um, this table, I it was really good, but I'm gonna be honest, like it's kind of faint right now. But I'm gonna say it was really great. Okay. This table, however, um, again very amazing. I will say that this cheesecake mm -hmm. was one of my favorites. Okay. I'm mad that I'm saying that because I know who made it now. <laughs> okay. But it's okay. It's okay. cool. Um, okay. And the third table, I'm just going to say everybody showed out for sure. I, I think it was definitely a winner across the board here. So. Wonderful. Yep, yeah, that's all I got to say. Okay, thank you. <laughs>
find it. How good is it? So all they did was they check for you know presentation and all that. They just tasted it and they rated from a um, scale of zero to four with half numbers whether they liked it, whether they didn't like it, and so that was the summation of all across the board. So if there was a second, if there was a second, um, like if I had like a one and a two, first one and second round for People's Choice Award, that would have gone. The, um, the person that would have gotten first runner up would have been uh, Jessica Nelson, and then the and then Trevon Nelson would have been. Oh. Coconut, um, that's what I need. That's thank you so much. Yeah. You got that's a cheesecake, cheesecake. I touch it. You only want I cheesecake. Want those. I didn't yeah. know. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I just eat cake. I, I, I made the orange, um, three layer cream, um, cream filled and marmalade, uh, for the chocolate on the bottom. No, no, no not the chocolate. That's Jessica's. But I just made the, the regular three layer with the two little oranges that were sitting. I can get Oh, <laughs> And then um, I also made the, the shrimp um, and vodka lasagna already. Ah, great. Okay. Yeah. All right. So now we have, we're going to do the category winners. Category one was the orange cream cheese, um, cream cheese cake. And that went to Garfield Duval. Oh. Yes. 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 Ah, that's it. Yeah. Yes. 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 Oh, just trying to get out of it. Category two was uh, the pastry, and the two main ingredients have to be coconut and cranberry. Category two winner is Garfield Duval. Yes. 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 Y
to an orange cake, I was focused on if we tasted the natural orange. And when we tasted the natural orange, um, I really liked the person that made the candied oranges because the candied oranges had a really good texture to them. And with these textures, it fixed the taste. But more importantly, I really liked the pina cotta as well. But with the pina cotta, it had a, blue, it had a blueberry puree and that created not only a natural sugar, but it created a very good texture as well. But the last one was my, of my favorite was the shrimp and lobster mac and cheese mix. Very, very well done. The mint had a different taste to the overall and created a beautiful savory, but yet nutritious taste. Thank you very much for having me here. Okay, hi, we're here with another one of the judges. Can you give some feedback on the competition? Anything that stood out or anything you have to say? Um, it was a good competition, close calls. Um, it came down to um, this, um, who um, executed um, better and um, down to the details. So good competition, can't wait till next year. Thank you. How, how, how can you just give some feedback on your scoring and, and your thoughts? I'm a guy that likes taste texture and presentation that's how i was judging and i have some favorite dishes i could name them three off my head number one garfield pound cake i like that not too sweet the texture excellent it wasn't tasting too sweet too sour nothing it was just perfect you can eat a whole thing without worrying the marjorie cheesecake was exceptional also and also jessica 
what is that? I don't the know surprise, what, the velvet surprise. The velvet surprise was amazingly delicious. Not too sweet, not too just, just right and everything. So those are my three favorites and stuff. Now everybody else, the cake was good and everything, but those are my three favorites. Okay. <laughs> All right, thank you. All right. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember what category is one. But this was, what was two. the dish? What was the dish? Category two, I would say um, cheesecake stood out. Okay. I think that was one of the best dishes there. Okay. Did you hear that, Brittany? Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, no, Brittany, no, watch me. Sorry, never mind. And then, I don't, and then number three, in category three, I'll say the um, uh, cheesecake, the surprise cheesecake. Oh, actually. <laughs> In category, back to category two. I think the surprise, the beach thing. That's number three. Yeah, that's number two. Were there were the three colors in the middle? No, no, no. The pie. Yeah, the pie. Oh, the pie. Okay, okay. Uh huh. Uh -huh. The, uh, for category three, I like the. Uh, I like all the food. The um, chicken. Spinach. Yeah, chicken spinach thing. The, uh, the fire and the uh, mac and cheese, and then for the dessert, mac macaroni, uh -huh. and the uh, cheesecake. Okay. Cheesecake. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you.